the I, plant. I am questioning. I am playing music. I am questioning. Does this plant know your name? You said yes. The plant. You are giving the plant. No, knows your name. What is name? What is your what? definition is name? I have a name. No, no. Do you have a name? This is just a. It is a sign. Does the plant know it's that just you? Just a sign. Okay. Nothing does the, else. Does the plant know that you are not a plant? Yes. Does the it plant know that you are a human? Know. Yes. So the, plant we are knows, different. so the plant recognizes that yes. you are a human. Yes. And the you. The plant is fully conscious. Okay, fine. It will recognize. Fine. What about what about this cup? Does this cup the, know that you are a human? The cup is made of the same okay, material as everything else. So does this cup know that you are a human? There is no difference between the consciousness. I understand what you're saying. And your body. Look, so I understand. I understand what you're saying. But what I'm saying is, does this cup know that you are a human? Yes. It does. Yes. The material of this. So the cup, cup is aware that you are a human being. The cup is aware, but you are now overpowering it. You are controlling it. That's all. There is to it. Is for what? So we gotta go. I don't understand what you're saying. If you are, I'm assuming you are a Muslim, right? I'm assuming you are a Muslim. So can I ask why is? No, I have. I have one question before asking. No, no. Why do you call your God He? Why should it not be a She? Because God describes Himself. No, He hasn't described anything. If you allow me to answer the question that you asked. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Go ahead. So God could have described Himself with anything that He wanted, but in the Arabic language, you only have these two particular pronouns, right? In the Arabic language, the one who has power. If you allow me, you ask me a question and you don't, you don't yeah, want yeah, to I'm hearing, listen I'm to the here. answer. I'm right here. But, but be receptive rather than yeah. be defensive and trying to uh, look no, for a, a, a counter-argument. Right. So God describes himself in the Arabic language with he. It doesn't mean God is a male or he's a man in any way. Because God tells us in the Quran there is nothing like unto his likeness. Laisaka mithlihi shay. Right? So this is what we imagine. Now here is the problem with your particular understanding of God. You can imagine God or the Paramatma like the way you want, but you know for sure he's not like that. Because the Paramatma is not like what you imagine. You cannot there imagine how he is. Definition. Wait, there is no the definition. So, a paramatma. So, is the paramatma. Why are you imagining it then? No, no. The one. Yeah. What, what is God? What is God in your practices. opinion? Yeah, no. I I you. Who who has no way of being yes. Yes. But we are not part with the paramatma. Creator. We are creation. So, that's why we want to understand from your belief. The if you believe, no, if you believe that you are part of this Paramatma and the only difference is you somehow have covered up your no. divinity, no, no, your inequalities of Paramatma. I example. No. To reach Buckingham Palace, we have different routes to reach. Same thing. Universal God is one. Two different religions, we reach there. That doesn't but, mean my route is correct and your route is wrong. But I will allow me to tell you why I would disagree. It is You can't just simply say there are many paths to the divine because in one of the paths they might say God is someone like this and I won't say God is someone not. Allow me to finish. If they contradict and they're saying, no, it's okay. You know what? My God is like that. He doesn't have a son and he has a son. And if you believe it, when you have contradictory roots to God, then you can't just simply say it's okay because the paths themselves are contradictory. So the, the path to go to God must be the straightest path. No, no, no. Not the crooked path. Okay. There is no crooked path. There is nothing called... You see, this is a misnomer to think that my path is straight and your path is crooked. This is a totally wrong way of... There is only one correct path. No, no. Okay, that's your belief. That's your belief. That's okay. Let's you cannot go. say that your path is straight and my path is crooked. That's a wrong definition. But, but do you agree the path to God must be the straightest? No, 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 not crooked. No, How do you I know what is straight? Sorry? One second. I, I, I don't know. I'm not much of a learned person here. No but my life is not a straight path. Right. I have gone way too many crisscrosses, so to, I don't know if no, I understand. I, I understand, you are like, so, yeah, there has to be. Must be way, it must be, you know, Any crooked path exactly. leads away from God. That's See, not true. By actually, actually it's not you realize true. yourself with crooked paths, and if you realize yourself, then I believe you realize God. So someone That's who, someone who believes that. God is something like even detestable thing, you're saying it's okay? God is not insulted? There is no. electron there is. in every so you're, you're, you're imagining. You're imagining God to have your own qualities. 
life. If you say that God is your own quality, that He gets angry, that He gets mad, that He is going to kill you. If somebody calls you something, no, I understand. If somebody calls you something, you will feel insulted. No, but people call God like a rat. That's an insult, isn't it? No. Rat has every bit of a value as a human being has. That's all. A rat, so a dog, or a cat, or a lion, or a plant, everything. So you can call. So, so God, you can call him anything. Anything, right? Anything, even insulting things. What is insulting to you? Is there something that's insulting to you? A rat. Is there anything? Is there anything that can be insulted to God? You can call a dog a dog. No, no, no. But a dog doesn't feel he's a dog. Is, 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 is there any way someone can insult God by anything? No, you cannot. So in principle, he says, people cannot insult God by anything. No, 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 no. no there is no insult. Okay, let's go. What is insult if you You insult feel yourself yourself. insulted when somebody insults you. And you feel God cannot be insulted. No, no, no. no. Are you are putting words to you. Let's go. Uncle. But are you part of God? We lived in huh? yes, part of God. We lived in MSP so with God now. Do you know much about Islam? I understand. My children learned Arabic. Yes. So, so do you read the Quran? No, no, no. Do you read the Quran? No, we don't. We, we read it when I was I was young. I read it. How about reading it now and see if it makes sense? We will. Maybe I will. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much. You take care. Bye. Bye. Why are you believe Wa alaikum. Don't be the same. Jesus is rubbish. Go.